This is Calculus, Topic 4.2. Number 5. We find that 120 items are sold at a price of $10 in a week. The next week we decide, hey, let's raise the price to $30, and we find that zero items are sold. Hmm. Well, what would be the price that we would need to charge that would maximize the revenue? And what would that revenue be, or what would that, uh, and what is the revenue generated? So, we want to maximize revenue. So we have revenue, so we need a revenue function. Revenue functions are made out of price times demand. As we find the revenue function, we want to maximize it, so we want to take a derivative of it and set it equal to zero. So let's still find the um, revenue function. Now, price will be P, but demand function, we don't have that. So we're going to take a little time. How do you find a demand function? Well, a demand function is created by input of price and an output of items. Okay. And we have that a price of $10 and we were able to sell 120 items. But at a price of $30 we were able to sell zero items. So our demand function can be created from these set of points. $10, 120 items, 30 items, $30, zero items. Let's find the um, slope of this function. Okay, this will be 120 minus 0 over 10 minus 30, which is 120 over negative 20, which is a slope of negative 60. Okay, and I'm, I'm looking for a um, linear demand function. That'll be y equals mx plus b based on these points here. Okay, so now that I have a slope and I have a point, I'm going to use the point slope formula. Okay, and I'll put the uh, for opposite of y, let's put zero in, and for slope, negative. I'm sorry, I should be negative six. Not that zero got there. Okay. Negative six for the slope. So negative six, and then minus thirty. Okay. So y is going to equal negative six x plus one hundred eighty. So this is our demand function. All right. Now. Revenue is made from price times the demand. So we're using x for the price. So revenue will equal x for the price. Okay, again, x was the price. And then the demand is negative 6x plus 180. So my revenue is going to equal negative 6x squared plus 180x. To maximize the revenue, I need to take a derivative of it, which will be negative 12x plus 180, and set this equal to 0, and then solve for x. Okay, I'm going to put my negative 12x to the other side, so I'll get 180 equals positive 12x, then divide both sides by 12. This gives me x equals, I believe, 15. So that's a price. So $15. So $15 would maximize our revenue. Now, what would be the revenue generated if we sell things for $15? Well, my revenue function is right here. Revenue would equal negative 6 times 15 squared plus 180 times 15. And my revenue function would end up being 
and fifty dollars